Okay. So, um, all right. So let's talk about common logarithms. Yesterday, when you started working with logarithms, you saw that they could basically have, you know, any base, right? Any number can qualify as a base. However, there is a base, there is a specific number that is sort of, you know, a lot more, for lack of a better word, common in um, modern, you know, in, in like modern applications, right? So if a logarithm, right, if it's just this base raised to the power of an exponent, so you're talking about like factors of that base, right? Like two to the one, two to the two, two to the three, right? That many times when something is multiplied by two, by two, by two, by two. Well, the most common base is a 10, all right? And any logarithm with a base of 10 is called a common logarithm. So it's nothing mysterious, nothing, you know, um, like magical. All it is, is a logarithm with a base of a 10, right? So now when the base is 10, right? So if I have log base 10 of three, or I'm sorry, log base 10 of 100, what I'm looking for is what is the exponent of 10 that gives me 100, right? So it's like 10 to the power of two, 10 to the power of three. Now tell me, if that's not a common thing, right? When you have like 10 to the power of something in math or science, right? Hence a common logarithm. In fact, the base 10 is so common that we don't even have to write it. We could just omit it. So if you have log base 10 of 100, I can just write that as log of 100. Just like if I have, you know, x, I never write 1x, right? Or I never write, you know, 3x to the 1, right? I omit the 1. It's the same thing. You can just omit the 10, and then you know that there is a base of 10, okay? All right. So let's review powers of 10 for a minute, okay? All right, 10 to the power of 1 is 10. And what's 10 to the power of 2? That's 10 100. times 10, 100. And 10 to the power of 3 is 10 times 10 times 10, 1,000. And 10 to the power of 4 is 10,000. So what do you notice between the exponent and the zeros? Yeah, Cooper? The number of the exponent is the amount of zeros that's going to be exactly right and then on the other side there's actually a typo here i meant for this to be 10 to the zero right so 10 to the zero is one because anything to the zero is one 10 to the minus one is one tenth which is point one. 10 to the negative three is one over a thousand which is point zero zero one. And then this is 10 to the negative four is this one over 10,000, which is point zero 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 one. What do you notice here between, you know, exponents and so on, Jackson? Um, Cause it says negative four, it doesn't go four spaces back. It goes one less. Right. So when it says negative four, it's one, two, three zeros, and then four decimal places yeah. total. Okay. So that's a good pattern to know. All right. These properties from last time, they still follow, you, you, um, they still apply here. So basically, anytime you have log of one, right? What's the base here? 10. There is a hidden 10. So now you're asking yourself 10 to the power of what is one? Well, that's zero, so it still applies, okay? What about log of 10? Well, the base is 10, 
So you ask yourself, 10 to the what is 10? And that's one. So that also applies, right? Log of 10 is just one. And then look, if I have log 10x, base here is 10. So it's the same pattern as before, log, base, base. All these, right, just kind of go off the side and then you have that equal to x. Last but not least, if you have 10 to the power of log x, there is a hidden 10 here. And look, same pattern, 10 log 10 kind of goes away, so you just have x. Okay? All right. So now, let's evaluate these logarithms, right? All right, here I have log of 10,000. And remember the base here is 10. So if I were doing this, me, right? I would say to myself, okay, 10 to the power of what is 10,000, right? So what exponent do you guys think? Four. Four. Okay. In the next one, there is a hidden base of four here. Okay. I'm sorry, there's not a base of four. I'm so sorry. There is a hidden base of 10 here. So I have 10 log 10, which kind of goes away, leaving me with just 12. All right, <clears throat> now log 14, okay, this is something, right, you have to ask yourself 10 to the what is 14, you can't do by hand, so you have to use your calculator on that one, all right, so let's all go ahead and take out our, take out our calculators, but while mine loads, this next one, log of negative 12, again, because you have the negative here, it's no solution. All right. Okay, so here's my calculator. You should all be able to locate the log button. It usually is right next to or attached to or the same as a 10 to the power of. So here, when I go to a new screen, um, whoops, sorry. It's control and this button to the left of the one, okay? And it gives me, you see that it already gives me like the, the base here, so let's see what happens here. Was it log of 14? Yes. All right, look, it puts in the base automatically when you leave it blank as a 10. Do you see that? All right, so that would be, okay, 1.146. Let's go to three decimal places. Sam. Um, it worked for this problem, but um, my calculator doesn't have like the little space next to the log. Um, what kind of calculator do you have? A TI-84. Okay, um, okay, um, okay, so for the base tens, it's not going to matter, and then when we have to do some other ones I'll, uh, in the next lesson, I'll work with you and we can figure out how to, how to okay. work around Thank it, okay? You. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's move on. Are there any questions? All right, let's move on. Okay, so those were common logarithms. Okay, just what we see everywhere. But what about a natural logarithm? So 10 is the most common base, but there is another base that is not just common with a log. It's the soulmate of the log, right? And this base and the log are just made for each other, right? They're harmonious together. That base is an E, right? 
So if I have log base E of something, that is the soulmate of the logarithm. That is the natural logarithm, okay? And that's called natural log. And actually, it's so special, it's got a different symbol, ln of x. So this log base e just becomes ln. And ln is lo um, natural logarithm in French, so it's like logarithm naturel. That's why it's ln. Okay? Fun fact. All right, so for example, you know, if you have like log base e of 2, that's just ln of 2. Okay? And e is called the natural base. And so now look, all the other properties, they are still going to apply. This is math. This is consistency, right? One property can't just apply for one number and not for the other number. There's no, no such thing in math. So that means if I have ln of 1, what is that really? That's just log base e of 1. And so now I'm looking for e to the what? gives you one and that's zero so again ln of one is zero right well, what about ln of e well what's ln of e it's just log base e of e so now ask yourself e to the what is e one so ln of e is one all right, next one, ln of e to the x. Look at what that is. This ln is just log base e, e to the x. Look, you've got the same thing again, log e e. That just gives you x, right? And same with e to the ln of x, e to the ln of x. So basically, just remember this, that when e and ln are together, they just kind of neutralize one another and they just kind of go away, right? These are so important that even if you were walking down the street and somebody tapped you on the shoulder and you turn around and they're like, hey, what's ln of e? You should just say it's one. ln of e is one, okay? ln of e is just one, ln of e is just one, okay? All right, so let's do a couple of these here. I have ln e to the 4.5, ln and e kind of neutralize each other, so I just have 4.5, okay? What about this one? Ah, there's that negative again. Shake your head, no, no solution. e to the ln of 4, e and ln neutralize one another. So it's just 4. Okay. ln of 7, that's one you have to use your calculator for. So let's go back to the calculator. Now ln should be somewhere very close to the log. In this case, it's control E, right immediately to the left so ln of 7 would give us 1.946 right remember to round properly okay this one <clears throat> all right we have e to the ln of 4 that's just 4 okay minus two times, what was ln of e? You can just show me on your fingers, one, okay? So this is four minus two, two. You see how it works? It's just little mini, mini puzzles, okay? All right, what about the next one? ln of e cubed is just how many? Show me, show me with your hands. Three plus 
four times e to the ln of five, that's just five. So this is three plus 20, 23. Tell me that's not the coolest thing you've ever done before, right? And listen, are logarithms so scary now? No. Did you come into you know this year thinking they were scary? Maybe most people usually are scared of them the first time they see them. But you know what? They're really not that bad. Like they, we can be friends, right? We can totally be friends. Okay. Let's take a look at this next one. All right. <clears throat> so look, I have this is kind of a you know one notch up now. I have log base 25. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write this as a power. Cube root of 5 is 5 to the 1 -third. You guys agree? Okay. Now, I have a problem. The problem is that this and this should be the same. Okay? So make these the same. All right, so it's kind of hard to mess with a base, right? Let's just leave that where it is. But the five, man, can I can I work with the five? So let's let's think. If logarithms have to do with exponents and roots right? What can I, how can I write the 5 in terms of a 25? So is, what can I do to a 25 to make it a 5? If I have to, if we're only talking about roots and exponents, Rachel? 5 to the 2. 5 to the 2, but what about the 25? What can I do to the 25? to get a five, Eli? Square root. You can take a square root. So I can write that five as the square root of 25, right? So in other words, if somebody is, oh, I don't know, eight years old, right? And you ask them, hey, how old are you? They could either say, I'm eight years old, or they could say, I'm the square root of 64 years old, right? Same number, okay? Yes, there has to be a meme like that to the power of one third, right? But now look, I'm gonna take it a little bit further. Log 25, and this I'm gonna write it as 25 to the one half times the one third. And now what happens? Look, now those are the same and they can go away. So what that leaves me with is one half times one third, one sixth. Okay, should we do another one? Let's do one more. All right, look at what we have here. Log base 16 of this cube root. Well, we never like cube roots with we don't like roots with logs, so let's just write that as 4 to the 1 third. And so now that's going to be log base 16. How can I write, what can I do to 16 to make it a 4? I can take a square root of 16 to make it a 4. So that 4, I can write it as 16 to the half. That's like taking a square root, okay, times the one-third. Don't forget that one-third. And again, these things are now the same, and I've got one-half times one-third. That's numerator of one over six, okay? And that's 3.2 done, all right? So 
that's where we'll stop today. And you can work on homework.